hello guys in this video i will talk about how we can supply the test ng xml suit from jenkins uh, to the form.xml so that whatever we supply from uh, test ng xml it will get executed because what happens is when we have a framework we can have a lot of test ng.xmls right based on the modules uh, based on the sanity regressions and all that so for that whatever i was explaining till now uh, it's the same concept okay in the pom.xml but we need to add one additional uh, tags in the pom.xml so if you look at here in the same latest uh, page object model uh, here we have pom.xml and i have added one more uh, parameters pom.xml just i have kept it as a different pom.xml so that i will not disturb my uh, the original pom.xml but in company you don't need to do that okay in company you can keep only one pom.xml and uh, you can make multiple uh, test ng suit but you make sure that uh, though you are making five uh, test ng xml for module wise but one you make as a all test that will have all the tests okay so that when you select from jenkins your all test will get executed for that what new concept you have to learn here is this uh, suit xml files you can see that right so you have to add this line okay in the configurations so the plugin which we have added if you focus in the build this is the build we have a plugins inside the plugins we have a plugin so this is our compile plugin okay this will compile your code and then this is one plugin and the second plugin what we have is this is the second plugin if you look at so inside the uh, second plugin we have a system property variable which we are reading from jenkins which i have already shown you the url which we are reading from the jenkins now we have introduced one more called xml suit files which actually uh, we have configured earlier also if you look at in the pom.xml here i have hard coded my uh, suit name right and here as i have explained uh, if you want to keep more than one suit file you can just copy this and you can paste it and let's say you have one regression suite.xml right so you can just go and rename it this is one way but here the problem what happens is in this kind of design when you run your pom.xml through jenkins all the test ng should will get executed okay so sometimes we do that but uh, uh, maximum times when you have a framework you need to have the control over the execution so you go for the different pom.xml okay here you add this tag so once you have added this tag what we need to do that is let me go to the jenkins first so let me uh, on my jenkins i'll go to the documents i'll start my tomcat you should not close the tomcat okay so window uh, batch file so click on this the jenkins will come up we'll wait for some time till uh, jenkins come up yeah so jenkins is fully up and running so now jenkins is up uh, we will go to the system and we'll just do localhost uh, Jenkins click on that Then we we'll log into our Jenkins Once the login is done, we'll go to the latest project which uh, we were working on click on that and uh, We will go to the configure Okay When we go to the configure we will add one more choice parameter here you add one more uh, choice parameter okay which you can see that where it was it was uh, in the general it was the project is parameterized this checkbox was checked okay and then we will go here and we will add test shoot and here the choice uh, parameter we can give so let me uh, get the choice parameter this is my one xml which i can paste it here and another xml what we have is
two decimals, right? Then we have to do some more changes. So if you go to this, now here we have to do some changes. I now I cannot write only test. So after test, what I need to write is I need to write this. Okay, this we need to write. So after test, we have to write this. Sorry. Okay, so uh, why we have to write this uh, test minus D uh, suit XML file is equal to SRC main resources because what happens is where you have a test suit you have inside SRC main resources inside the SRC main resources you have something called test suite inside the test suite we have a test suite right so we need to write a uh, test suite and then we have to write the name which we are writing here the test suite so copy this because in the runtime it will uh, read from the choice parameter and it will supply to your pom.xml okay so paste it here so this you know how it works when this uh, parameter pom.xml which i'm adding here okay in fact you can use the pom.xml itself just uh, to explain you i'm doing all that okay so here uh, when you say dollar test suit so in dollar test suit what happens is whatever you shoot you will select here in the choice parameter it will get executed right so this one uh, this line you have to add shoot xml file the locations of the suite file slash dollar when you say dollar it will read from here okay it will read uh, this test suit okay now you click on ap apply click on save so you go to the build with parameter now you have four parameters url username environment and test suit Apart from that, I will do some changes also. I will go here and I will go to the test suite. Here we have A, B, C, which uh, we have written. So, what I will do is I will go inside and I will show you how we can read the Jenkins data. So, if I write here SYSO, sorry, SYSO, control space bar, yeah, system output print, and let's say if I'll write system dot get property and if i write here username uh, this we can read from the jenking similarly if i write so why i am showing you here because when you read in the test you can read anywhere from the pom.xml you read url also uh, then you read uh, environment okay and then we will read the test suit so everything we are reading that just i am doing all that just to show you okay now in the log uh, we can see that like how you know the log is getting generated how we are able to read all this okay and why i kept in the class a dot java because uh, in this regression suite you have this class a b c so i have intentionally made two uh, two suite to show you now my design has been done right now let's say if i'll go here and if i'll select regression suit.xml and if i'll click on build so what will happen my particular suit should get executed right so this browser is launching because why it is launching because our test is extending test base and as you know that in the test base we uh, create the object of browser so it's got executed uh, let me uh, reload this 9 so 9 got failed also it's okay i clicked on build number 9 and when you go to the console output uh, look at this see in this class test I started and this is this is the data which we are able to read automations url qa and this is the suit name you can see that we are able to read the data in the test script whatever we are supplying in the Jenkins and how we are able to read that because we have a connection Jenkins to the pom.xml so when you go to this pom here we have a connection which we have given right this we have a connections and this we have connections for the suite.xml that is the reason 
we are able to read the data from uh, Jenkins to uh, pom.xml and this is very useful what happens is when you are working for a company this is often required often why it is required because a lot of time you need to supply the parameter from here to your test script and lot of times you have to select the shoot and you need to run the shoot so uh, I believe with this we are done with all the concepts of Jenkins okay except then one the one is a uh, run the repository which is present in the git because whatever video I have created uh, we have a local repository in our system and we are using it but if you know this much you can uh, tell any answer in the interview like whatever six video I have covered this covers all the concepts of Jenkins right nothing else is uh, remaining except than one small concept okay so with this I'll close the video and the remaining concepts I'll try to cover thank you guys thank you for watching this